In part one, we talked about the general behavior of these samplers. In part two, we're going to connect the pieces together and show you how they relate so you have a much better appreciation of what they do and how they work. Starting out with the GANs, those were the original image generators, but they were of limited use and very slow and not very effective. So along come the diffusion models, which could generally create images, and then we could use the GANs to improve on them, like upscale, face fix, add textures, the specialized things that they were good at. But the diffusion models were still very slow initially. It took a lot of steps to get quality and were very, very intensive numerically. So these things right here were created as approximations or shortcuts where they skipped a lot of the hard steps and were able to arrive at decent or good enough solutions in a short period of time. We'll start here in the linear family. The Euler was the way of from an initial value to forward project points. The Hoyne is the improved Euler where it would take a forward Euler step and then a backwards Euler step and average the two to and that's where it would move to and that's why the Hoyne converges and does better step by step but at the cost of more calculations. The linear multi-step you can think of having a series of dots and it uses those to project where the next point should be. These ones down here are denoisers, meaning that they remove the noise from the noisy image in the latent space to render out or pull out the image. If you remember from training, you started out with a pure image, you simulated diffusion until it was pure noise, then you learned to reverse the process until it was an image. Well, that is what these are doing, they are reversing the process. A DDIM is a single pass, much like a Euler, it's a forward pass, whereas the DPM family is DDIM, but a forward and a reverse step. That is where these things get better quality at, again, a cost of more calculations. PLMS is similar to the LMS in that it is using that linear multi-step, but it is removing noise. The DPM++ is using a second order function, more calculation intense to remove the noise. The DPM++ 2M, that means multi-step. So it is doing a denoising and an image generation process in a two-step versus doing it all in one step like you would do right here. Here are all of the samplers in action. Pause it to get a better look. I did it with and without background in the prompt just to prove a point. That the DPM2, Fast, and Ancestral tend to blur or mute out the background. It is my belief that's because it's doing the denoise and image generation in the same step. It's more focused on the prompt, what's in the foreground, and the rest tends to become more noise. Whereas the 2M doesn't have that problem because the multi-step breaks up that generation and denoising into separate steps. Hopefully that gives you a much better idea of how all these things fit together. Have fun, keep creating, and exploring the latent space.